Raymond Fong here. And this video shows you how to install this nifty little Google, uh, Google Frame Connect bar right here at the bottom of your WordPress blog. And what do you do is you go to Google Frame Connect, which is, if you do a quick search for Google Frame Connect, you'll find it. It's at google.com uh, slash Frame Connect. And once you're there, you should have set up your Google Frame Connect already. If you haven't, you know, go through all the process, set up a new website, do all that stuff. And once you have done with that, you're able to come down here and see all these different cool reports and tabs. One of the things you want to click on is click on social bar. So once you click on social bar, you're basically a matter of selecting your options. Do you want a social bar, which is again, this nifty little Google Frame Connect bar down here to show up at the top of your website or at the bottom? I personally like at the bottom, so I select bottom. And then, you know, it can do include a comments gadget, which is basically allowing people, showing people to comment. I definitely want that. So keep that uh, selected. I'm going to apply it to my entire website, not just that one page, but every single web page within that website. And you can, of course, customize the text in the comments area and a comment header and a few different, you know, a couple other options. Now, what you after you're done with that, you can click on generate code, and there are two things that show up. One is the header, and the other one is the footer. So what you need to do is go ahead and go into admin section of your WordPress WordPress blog. Inside WordPress, to add anything to footer, you have to go in here under appearances. Just click on editor. You're going to edit a file called footer.php. I'll show that here in a moment. So while that's loading, I'm going to go back here. And oops, wrong one here. Basically, highlight my entire code in here, copy it into my clipboard, go back. Once again, this is the back office of my WordPress blog. Scroll down to how I see footer.php. Click on that. And what you need to do once you get this uh, this file is let's see, you're scrolling down, it's loading. You need to scroll down. You will see a slash body tag right here. Okay, ignore everything else before it, but this is what you need to see. So what do you want to do is put your cursor be, uh, before that, hit enter a few times, scroll back up, and what do you want to do? Copy and paste that exact Google Frame Connect piece of code in here. Okay, and you can see I've done that already, which is this piece of code right here. Okay, and then once you're done with that, you click on update file. And now you're able to move on to the header. Okay. So again, I've done this already, so I don't need to click update file. Instead, I'm going to go and click on header and show you the other piece of code that needs to take place. Go back to Google Frame Connect and take a look at this piece of code right here where it says place a snippet of code at the very top of your web page. Well, your WordPress blog has a file called header.php that allows you to configure the top of every single web page within your blog. Go and copy this entire snippet of code. Go back to the back office and you can see that I pulled up the file called header.php. What I do is actually, uh, depending on how your blog is set up, you most likely will just have this right at the very top of your blog. Okay? Uh, easier way to do it is you should have something that looks similar to this doc type, HTML public, blah, blah, blah. You probably just want to replace that line with the new doc type, HTML public, blah, blah, blah piece of code you get from the Google Frame Connect. Um, piece of code right here. So once you're done with that, um, you can see I've done this already, um, which is shown right here. You can click update file and voila, you will have the Google Frame Connect social bar appearing on your WordPress blog. Okay, this is Raymond Fong from RaymondFong.net. Enjoy. And next time, I'll go and talk to you about how to add basically Google Frame Connect commenting plugin onto your uh, website. Talk to you later.